Using forms has been a simplified way of organizing information in a questionnaire form. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a few examples uh, that I've created. So um, here's one that I just created very recently, an untitled form. And it takes me directly to the results. And since I have not submitted this form yet, it is empty. So I'm just going to now edit this form. Let's go to Form, Edit Form. And here you can see is where the title is, so I can just edit the title and the subtitle. Um, this is, uh, these are all where the questions are. We have a short, a short answer, a long answer, multiple choice. So to go in and actually edit the question, I select the, the pencil. And if I decide that I want to create, um, I want to actually change this to a different kind of question, I can either make this paragraph or a multiple choice, uh, check checkbox choose from a list, or even a scale. But because what is your name seems to be just a one answer question, we're just going to leave it as that. Uh, so what I'll do is I select done. And then as I scroll down, um, these are so these are just a few examples that I've used. And now let's say I want to add in a question. I select add question. And let's say I want to do a uh, choose from a list. So let's say. Um, so let's use an example of transportation. So let's say uh, car, bike, walk, public transport. And let's say to and from work or school. Okay, so that's just an example of a drop-down list. Okay, so now once I feel that I'm done with the form, I will now share this and I will go to email this form and I'll add in the email addresses or the group email addresses that I want to send this out to and I press send. And once I do that, they get a link to the form, and then they fill it out, and then all the results go onto a spreadsheet. So let's look at an example of, the, of a form that has already been uh, completed. Okay, so I'm going to select Bake Sale Survey. And here are all the different results from the form. So now I'm going to go to Live Form. And this will take us to the form that was uh, previously sent out. So I'm going to fill it out. Say, what is your name? Kate. What will you be bringing? Say, cookies and cupcakes. Quantity of baked goods. 36. What time you be willing to volunteer? Uh, say, 11 to 12. Do I own a hamster? Yes. And submit. Now I've been given a confirmation, so let's take a look at the results. And as you can see, all my results have been included onto the spreadsheet. So if I want to look at it, I, there are different views that I can that I can look at the spreadsheet. So if I go to View, I can go to List View, and this way I could actually sort. So if I wanted to sort by times, or if I want to sort by name or by uh, quantity of goods, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, I can do that. And I can also go in and edit directly into the form. So let's say that Sue is uh, not going to be bringing cupcakes. She is, in fact, going to be bringing uh, sugar cookies. I can go in and edit instead of having to resend the entire form again. Now to go back to the spreadsheet view, on the bottom left corner is, uh, is the link back to the spreadsheet view. And that is a short overview of forms. Having the ability to create and edit forms on Google Docs is just plain super. I totally agree. Bill. What happened to your suit? I have been thinking a lot about having a makeover, so I sent out a survey to everyone and this is the new look they suggested. What do you think? Bill. I don't know what to say. In fact, I don't remember receiving any such survey. Sure you did. I sent it out to the Super Friends email list. By the way, I don't go by Bill anymore. I now go by Brock. Well Bill, I mean Brock. Are you sure you didn't accidentally send it to Superfoods by mistake? That was an email list to the participants in our annual Super Farmers Market. Um. If you will excuse me, I need to go check my email. As for the class, log on to Google Docs and create your own survey, 
to send out to other students. Try using multiple choice questions, long and short answers, and other options. Manage your results by looking at the different viewing options and create a chart for visual effects. Creating and editing forms in Google Docs is easy and fun. Don't hesitate to send a follow-up survey or a new one altogether. Remember to be clear and descriptive when asking questions so as to avoid confusion. Soon enough, you will be an expert.